Hello everybody, this is Xenocat H3543 walking you back to Let's Play Xenogears. Last time we made it through a whole gauntlet of fights, we rescued Rico, found Walt, got Walt all back, and we had a lot of conversations with Ellie, and Ellie is conflicted right now. Resume? Let's resume. This is the se only the second time in this whole game that the game has decided has like given us a save break in the middle of the plot. Anyway, yeah, the Hecht is on its way to destroy Nortune, the imperial capital of Kislev, and we're trying to stop it. That's what's going on right now, and Ellie is very conflicted about her role in the Gebler forces and whether she wants to stay as part of it. So she's gonna be sitting this battle out. What the heck were you doing, Faye? Were you expecting me to do all the dirty work clearing away these punks for you alone? <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh, but I see you've made a girlfriend. If we can defeat her, we should be able to change the course of this ship. Let's go. Humph. <laughs> Just one more extra run isn't going to allow you to down the ship bomb hashed. Of course not. We're not going to take this ship down. We're going to take you down. Ha! <laughs> huh, what insolence. But what do you expect coming from lambs? Okay. So. Perfect. We're going to just attack this. This is why I have stuff beam coats equipped. Also, the magnetic coats are helping here, too. I shouldn't need to heal here. Oh, I should have boosted. We're going to do that next turn. Yeah. We're going to boost her. And go into level 1 death blows, because this is how you get through things efficiently, is you just spam level 1 death blows. Even if it hits, it does no damage to him. Rico has enough defense that he should take very little damage, and the air rods will not do any damage to... that to Faye, so... Because we equip beam coats. They really trivialize this boss fight. So we can just basically wail on it, this boss until it goes down. Oh no, you're hitting Rico for 10 whole damage. I'm so scared. Bomber head. Yeah. We got lots of damage to deal. This boss has 7,500 health, but it's real easy because... Beam coats trivialize everything, so... We can just chip it down and not take damage. And this is really just, can we get rid of its HP before we run out of fuel, which we should be able to with this, following this pattern. Oh no. Yeah, X attacks on the off turns for extra damage, because that extra damage will add up. And save rounds. Oh, it's doing this thing. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's just keep going. I think we want to attack this thing. We're just going to keep punching him. The one in the back. 
You know what? You can hit the front one. Sure. Not that it really matters. This fight is pretty easy. Worst case scenario, we waste like 2,000 damage because that's all the health that whatever the added thing has. As long as we're still dealing damage, we're fine. As long as we don't run out of fuel. Okay, Faye. Just keep punching away. Oh, this is the thick. That's what it is. It's a super air rod beam attack, which might do damage to Rico. Uh, that did a lot of damage. That's the only threat that this thing has. So we're going to take those out from now on, but otherwise we can just keep wailing on the main boss. Oh, but the main boss is dead. Perfect. Yeah! G Why you remember this? One day I'll pay you back for this. I promise. Easy boss. So much experience. Faye levels up again. Rico levels up. We get an HP drive. I don't know what this does. But we'll find out. And we got more cutscenes. There's no time! Rico, hurry and change the course. No! Whoa! Damn, there's too much mass. Ellie, you... Hold on! We can avoid a direct hit on the reactor with three gears. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Whoa. It's going a different direction. <laughs> okay, we steered away from the power station. Let's bail out, okay? But now it's heading right for the residential district. He's right. We need to bring it down somewhere where it won't cause so much damage. Impossible! We can't change its course any more than we have! No, we've got to hold it up as long as we can. What are you? Deaf? Huh? We're overeating! Damn, not now. There's nothing more we can do. Hanging on anymore will just be suicide. But... That's it. I'm bailing out. Come on. Ellie! Stop! 
Stop! What are you doing? If you do that... Don't worry. My gear is from Solaris. It's still alright. Ellie, what are you doing? If you keep going, you'll... But what else can we do? <laughs> At least it will reduce the damage. Sorry. It's better than doing nothing. Ellie! <sighs> Just hold on a bit more, please. <sighs> Is this... it? Whoa, who's that? Someone came in and saved Ellie. We don't know who though. This is not someone we've seen before. Wait. Ellie. Ellie. Who? Ellie! You're... Faye? Faye? <laughs> Stupid. Foolish. Are you... crying? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Can you... forgive me? <laughs> it's not your fault, Ellie. <laughs> it's not your fault. Faye... Ellie, let's go back. That person, where? First we saved the Empire, now we're being chased by them. We cannot make a wrong move with security this tight. Hammer's our only hope. He's awfully late, though.
Looks like Hammer's here. Bro, Satan! I got the key info that should help us get out of the capital. So, what's the info? The Empire's new super airship. Goliath. This is it, bro. The Empire's new creation. The super airship Goliath? Super airship. Is it that big? Tsk, tsk. It's beyond big. Huh? It's Ellie. Huh? As I said, it's beyond big, Ellie. The Goliath is of extraordinary magnitude. It's said that the Goliath can even make a gear look like a pea. It's rumored that it can even decimate the other capital, Bledovic, all by itself. By itself? Annihilate Ave? It must be a monstrous battleship. According to my reliable resources, it's located north of Kislev in an underground dock at some military facility. <gasps> the military facility north of the capital? Ellie, what's wrong? I know that facility. I've talked to you about it before. The Imperial facility I infiltrated. I never knew that something like that was in the basement. Ellie, do you think you still remember how you infiltrated the base? Yes, Satan. Way north, beyond the Inkisle of Imperial Capital, beyond the carved out portion of the mountain peak, lies the Imperial City's military facility. Good, let's take that. Before the Empire decides to launch a counterattack against Ave. And we made it out. Hammer no longer sells things. Oh, yes. I forgot to tell you about Master Rico, bro. You've seen him? Yeah, and I brought up our plan to escape from the capital. Says he can't help us, though. I see. Faye, he has his own path he must take. Now, let us go. Faye. We must hurry to Ave. Huh? Uh, yeah, I know, Ellie. We have to hurry. If we go through the front gate, gate, we might have to fight the guards. Hammer, once we break through, fall in behind us. That's my speciality. Leave it to me, bro, and put up a good fight. Doc, Ellie, let's go. Our destination is the Imperial Military Facility up north. Just wait a minute. There's something I have to tell Ellie. Tell me? Yes, um, it'll be really quick. It'll be real quick. Ooh. I am not good at Hammer's accent. Or the accent that I have given Hammer. Which is honestly my fault. But too bad for me. All right. All right. Um, uh, nothing. We're walking, breaking through the front gate, bro, and use the town. Okay. We're gonna run away. I'm looking for shops. This looks like it could be a shop. <laughs> Flavor dialogue is fun. 
should have plenty of all these. Yeah. This looks like a shop too. Oh, equipment. I'll buy another jacket, metal jacket and helmet for you. Well, actually, I think I have extras, so no. Let's give Ellie some equipment. Shall we? Still has the same equipment that she had on earlier. I'm actually gonna go with metal dress, I think. Or wedding dress. Metal jacket is 22 defense. So. Don't want the ether defense that badly, not really. I'm gonna check on Ellie. She's level 33. She is miserable in terms of death blows. We're gonna have to be grind we're gonna have to grind her a lot. The other two are fine. Now he has Anima Bolt, Terrawant, Aqua Ice, and Thermal Cube. She has four single basically enemy single attack enemy things. Nope. Okay. This looks like also a shop. I've been here. Or the bar. It's the bar. We we'll back. I'm just gonna check out the stuff in town. Huh? Somebody dropped something here. Because we paid Big Joe, we get an M disc. Just wanted to confirm there's not a gear shop here. Oh, now I want to head back to that bar. Right, it was like here. You know what, we're going to do a music showcase, a little music showcase real quick. Because we can. Maybe this we can listen to it? Let's listen. We can hear all the different musics here. Dungeon. I feel like we've heard enough of this. 
nature. Yep. Aw, it's Lehan. You know what this play for a little bit. We're just gonna be doing music for the rest of the video, but That's on the world, by the way. Oh, these are collections. It's the same one. We're going to try to roll some other ones. Oh, this one. Oh, hey, it's Dazzle. Already heard that one. Wonderful. This is the Bladovic market, I believe. So, yeah, this is just taking things from around the world. Oh, this is Satan's house. There's Lehan. I think we've heard pretty much all the ones we're gonna hear. Yeah, let's try Dungeon again, see if we can get another track. Those are mostly ambient, so I'm not really gonna go with those. A theme. Choosing battle things. Let's go to Requiem. Okay, that's the sleep stuff. Is that it? I'm gonna try one more time. We got a different one. Let's go with motion. Any other tracks here? No. You can get boss team going. Is there another nature track? I don't know, I'm just playing around with this. There is. I'm gonna go with the world. I meant to go with world. Oh, we didn't hear this one though. This is the game over. We'll listen to this for a little bit as I end the video off. Anyway, next time we'll actually try to leave more tune. I'll see you then.